Well, you know how I'm always telling you that my wife are picking projects out for me. So I think I kind of picked this one out for myself. I kind of volunteered to make frames for all these pictures. Now these, uh, this one here and that one, these two, my daughter drew. Now she's an artist and a student at uh, Savannah College of Art and Designs. And these Mickey pictures, I'm sure my daughter could do, but my wife got these through Disney somehow, and she wants uh, frames made for these. I think I have another Disney one that she wants framed, which is a larger one, but it's of Dumbo. So we'll get all that together, and I've got a few weeks to get these things done, and you can see how I put together a frame. It might be totally different have, from how you would do it, but let's get it done. I'm starting off with these, uh, the two little small pictures. I think they're about four by six. I got these are two inches wide and I think the wider boards will look nice on them. And this is what they call 13 ply plywood. I've seen some of the, the pictures that I have made before with this grain and it uh, really looks good. That normal plywood has that wider 16th inch spread. These are much narrow. I'm just experimenting on these a little bit. This is gonna be the picture frame. So I did a chamfer on this side and on this side. I used saw blade down here and I used a, a V groove on the router here just to, to try to see what kind of a thing I could come up with. I may put a color inside the groove, the V groove. I like it. Well, now we got the first one glued together. And once this is finished here, once it dries, we'll get it all cleaned up, get it uh, sanded and painted, and get it ready for the picture. Turned out good. I like it. Let me know in the, in the description down there, or the comments, if you like the design, because it's the one I just came up with. Got the little champer on the side here and took the saw blade and did that. Took the B-groove from the, um, from the uh, router and did that. Champered over here again. And uh, turned out good. Okay, so this, this is going to be our second picture, the frame to make. And let's see, it's going to be nine inches by 12 inches now let's find a uh, suitable board for that okay i just cut these frames out and i put a chamfer on this side this is a groove, like a 45 degree groove. So now I'm putting on the end pieces here, I'm putting some, I don't know if you can tell it on that piece or not, but there's glue on there. And I watched a YouTube channel the other day that recommended that if you're gonna glue these up like this without any support with splines or anything, cover the face of it first, let it dry or almost dry and then Put your glue on there and then glue it up so that's what i'm doing and once i get all that done i probably will shoot some uh, maybe two inch not two inch maybe inch and a quarter 
uh, inch and a half brads through there on each side in order to give it some more strength. This is the picture that's going in there. These frames are going to be painted. Uh, colors yet haven't been decided, but uh, yeah, that's where we are on that now. Then I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes and then I'll glue them all together. Well, for the most part, it's all glued up. I didn't have a tight fit in here, but some wood filler will help take care of that. And I will secure the corners. And um, in the comments, let me know what you think about this design, because I designed it myself. A chamfer here, I put a groove here, and then I ran it through the table saw twice here, and a chamfer on this side. So, I thought it looked pretty good. Anyway, this is number two. And I only have, I don't know, three or four more to go. Well, today I thought I would paint the frame. Remember, this was the frame that... Uh, my daughter said she wanted it just white. These are the colors. This is the picture that's going to go in there. So I see all the different uh, colors of the balloons and what have you. It was my thought that I would take the pastel. This is These are pastel colors. This is a blue and pink. And I thought they might bring out the colors of the balloons in, in there. But uh, it's just my idea. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And... Uh, it's not what she wants, we can always paint over it with white, so. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I kind of thought it looked nice. Yeah, once I get this uh, painted, then I'm gonna go back over it with white. Very carefully paint around these colors and the grooves here. Well, I'm using this little piece of metal. It's uh, aluminum, maybe, I don't know. But it's gonna go in these grooves, like so. And I'm thinking I can get up real close and paint, you know, like go all the way into here, put it down in the groove, you know, be able to paint tight without having to get it down in. Now that works pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the frame. Now I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. This is really working pretty well. Well, I'm finishing up this picture frame. I'm about to put this paper on the back of it so that it can seal it up, keep the dust out. And this is uh, how it turned out. This, I think it's pretty. Like I said before, these are watercolors that my daughter painted. She wanted a frame for them, so this is what I came up with. I think it turned out really well. Most expensive thing on this was the glass. Glass was about nine by 11. It was like $8 and almost $9. I thought that was a little much for glass, but the rest of them may be plexiglass. We'll see. This is the other one. The frame is similar. I have one more groove in here on this one than I did the other one. I didn't paint on the inside of this, inside the grooves like I did on the other one because I didn't see the need of it. I thought I would kind of stress this uh, frame just so that it would kind of match the, the painting itself. It's another watercolor. It was done by my daughter. It also, I've got the back of it. I'm going to put paper on the back of it. I used tape this time on this one instead of fasteners. I'm just experimenting with it. I think it'll do fine. I didn't uh, video, I don't think I videoed any of this frame being made, but it was basically the same as the other one. I think it also turned out well. I think she'll like it. Well, here's the back of that one. Well, now we got this one completed. It's ready to go. It's all
got the uh, the hangers quite pleased with them look good on this picture coming up guys the uh, the pink one you'll see it I need to know uh, what color to paint this thing paint pink isn't working I think white may work it's a Christmas flower I think it's a poinsettia give me an opinion uh, in the comments about what color you think it would look good also thanks for watching guys and if you would hit that subscribe button and the like button it'll help my channel out a lot see you next time